Uh, I think he just brings a lot of pep. We don't just have the school spirit, we see the school spirit. I don't know any other school that does this at all. Pretty nice that you get to interact with a mascot like that. Give him some love, pet him a little bit. It's pretty cool. Well, personally, I love puppies, so you know, I always want to go pet them. I always want to, you know, go talk to them. See how they're doing, but I, I love dogs, so. Colonel Rock the First debuted as a live mascot at the Western Illinois University homecoming football game on October 10, 1959. The dog was named after Colonel Ray Rock Hansen, the former football coach and athletic director. The highly decorated World War I and II veteran was responsible for making Western the only public school in the nation to have permission to use the Marine logo and seal. Colonel Rock I was prominent on campus for seven years until his death in 1966. Shortly after, the second dog was in the spotlight. Colonel Rock II, also known as Rocky, retired in 1973. Western didn't have a live mascot for 37 years. Get up here. Come here. Come on. Come here. Come here. There you go. Okay. Okay. It was a cool way. I thought it, I just had started full time. It was one more way I could give back to sort of give back to campus and be connected to campus. Um, when I learned of the history of the past, Kernot the first and Kernot the second, which had been 37 years prior, um, there had you know, there, I thought it was a cool opportunity to be sort of uh, put my place in Western's history, be part of Western's history. Director of Residential Facilities Joe Roseleaf became a part of that history when he decided the university needed a third life mascot in 2010. The idea came about when school spirit and attendance at football games were low. As a dog lover, Joe thought Colonel Rock III could fix the problem. Um, looked into it, and noticed that every you know, as all schools, the big schools, Georgia's, uh, uh, Mississippi State's, they all had live mascots. Joe says he couldn't find any help from the past Rocky owners, but he did find it from Butler University. Michael Calton Mark, the owner of Butler's live mascot, was just a phone call away and ready to help Joe with the next Rocky. Um, he picked up my calls. He answered every single one of my questions. Um, he continued to be a supporter for us. He, they came over here and played football, so he actually brought the dog, both of them at the time. They had two at some time as well. He brought them over. Um, in fact, Rocky, Coronat uh, III, his jersey that he wears is based off the design of Butler's. They sent me overnight in me Butler's Blues jersey. Colonel Rock III soon became ready to do his job. Being the school mascot has a lot of responsibilities. His contract states he has to attend all football games, majority of basketball games, and the homecoming parade. His duties don't stop there. Rocky also interacts with the community by visiting schools and various events. Joe says that's roughly 200 to 300 events he takes his dog to a year. Colonel the III has gotten some national attention um, as we played Butler, um, some ESPN polls for like cutest mascot, those type of things. So that's been pretty cool to see him like on ESPN. 
my, my knees and shoes getting a lot of pictures so I can tell it's me so that's pretty neat to be um, in some of those big publications that we've been part of. With all these responsibilities comes expectations. Joe says being the owner of an iconic figure on campus brings a lot of pressure to please people. But the pressure doesn't bother Rocky. He catches on quickly to learn new tricks. Um, we, we went to a hockey game uh, two years ago and he dropped the puck. And how do you teach a dog how to drop the puck? Impossible, you know. It was, we spent probably two weeks and finally he just like just taps it out of my hand and that's what we rolled with and he just it's just like he just knows Rocky, what do you think your brother <laughs> really <laughs> you want him to go oh do you love him silence <laughs> what do you think of him Rocky eventually got a new co-worker. In Rocky's old age, Joe thought it was time to transition him into retirement. The next dog to follow in his paw prints was Ray. Colonel Rock IV officially became a part of Western's history in June of 2018. He, he sort of picks up on things, and um, I don't know if it's like little brother, big brother type of mentality, but he definitely, like when Rocky's trying to do something, he's right, Ray's right there trying to, trying to be bigger and trying to do different things with him, so. Sit. It. High five. More light. He's like, no, I'm gonna do it all. <laughs> yeah. Although Ray is much quieter than Rocky, he's still a puppy. Joe says he alternates between the two dogs for events. The older mascot now has a more laid back schedule while the pup takes on the fun and playful festivities. Um, during basketball games this year, if we had two or three games in a week, I'd switch them on and off. Both dogs had to get used to their surroundings at first. Ray is no different than Rocky, where each needed to become accustomed to the sounds of campus life. Joe practiced different noises around them, such as gunshots to simulate the cannon at football games and drums for the band. Joe plans on keeping all past and present live mascots engraved in Western's history. He didn't want to do anything extreme like a burial site, but he thought a sculpture would honor the dogs in a respectful way. It would be really cool to have a bronze sculpture of my dog on campus for the rest of my life, but um, I think you know when I come back here and I'm 90 years old and Colonel Rock the, the 17th is running around, I don't want it to be just focused on Colonel Rock the 3rd. The mascot memorial will highlight the traits of all the dogs that have served. It will have the history of all the live mascots, including the unofficial ones of the 80s and 90s. Joe hopes to have it completed by summer 2019 and unveiled in the fall. Is there anything else you want to say? <laughs>